I'm doing a big thing right now. I'm getting a new car. It's time, it's the day, it's happening. As long as everything goes according to plan, I'm getting a car. This is gonna be the last time that we get, uh, we get to see the big bitch, so I'm give her a good, a good kiss goodbye. Getting ready to sign the paperwork. I'm getting a car. <laughs> I'm really sad to leave my truck though. We've had some good times. I threw all the stuff in here, so I pretty much just have to get rid of this and clean out under here, which I kind of did already, but just a little bit of stuff, so not a whole lot of transition to happen here, but I'm gonna clean it out and, uh, and get it going. Oh my gosh. Fun fact, I've had this teddy bear with me since I was 16, my dad put this in my car and he hid it in there. And uh, he hid it in my, my first car ever and I've just transferred it from car to car. And it just comes with me everywhere. So, and it's funny because it's just like a little mini tiny teddy bear, but it's, it's something that's been with me for so long. So it comes car to car, so it's coming in the new car. I've made the decision to leave my trusty dusty bandana as a farewell gift to my truck. Bye-bye. I did it. I signed it. The deed is done. Oh my gosh. This might be a big surprise to you guys. I don't know, but I went with a Jeep. And we'll discuss more as to why I went with the Jeep versus another truck in a little bit, but the deed is done. I no longer have my cutie little truck. I now have a cutie little Jeep. They give you the royal treatment over here. It's pulled up right next to where you walk in. So you buy it and they're all about it. Fancy. Out with the old, in with the new. Hi little baby. Welcome home. See you later. See you never. Dude! What do you think? Freaking sack. You like it? Yeah, I'm gonna sit in it. Don't poke a hole with those arrows. Look how good he is. He took his shoes off. You're the best. It drives so nice. You're not compared to your freaking Dodge. And also, hi Bruce. You're She's sad she wants it. She loves it. It's <laughs> she I likes it. I wanted this one. <laughs> your cruise control is on when you're using it. Uh-huh. Nice. It's and nice. look at the moonroof. Oh. oh! Yeah. Oh, you got interior lights right there. That's yeah. Sick. I'm gonna need a copyright by my own man. <laughs> now we're going to dinner. Guess who's driving? Me! <laughs> it's Bree! <laughs> In my new car. Look who's driving. I don't want to stop driving. You like it? I like it. Very smooth. It's nice just having this nice leather. Yeah. It's very cool. You approve? I approve. I approve and I I don't want to stop driving it for sure. You're gonna have to stop driving it because I wanna drive it. No. <laughs> I told Jared he could drive the car. We went to the bow shop and that's about an hour away from us and I told him this would be a great time for him to drive it. My baby's not even a day old. And I'm 28, babe. <laughs> My other baby. And he likes it. He approves. <laughs> yeah, I dig it a lot. 
And now we're going to another dealership to get something else. Yeah, uh, like he said, we're going to go look for something for him, not giving any details, not telling you where we're going, because that's his business, not mine to tell you. But just know, there is a another car, truck, vehicular in the mix that nope. could or couldn't happen. And we're gonna be matching soon. Yeah, so, oh, is he getting a Jeep? I guess you'll just have to find out. Yeah, maybe I made the decision last night. Yeah, I need a Jeep now. So. Trade in all my trucks. Comment down below if you think it's a bad idea if he gets a Jeep or not. Not saying that's what he's getting. Not saying that is what he's not getting. Comment down below if you think that's a good idea. And we're back home. We were at the dealership for way longer than I thought we were gonna be there. Uh, didn't bring you guys along, cause like I said before, not my biz to tell. Know what I'm saying? I'm balancing the camera on the cat tower right now and there's a cat about to jump up here. Stay down there, okay? I really need to invest in a tripod cause I either am sitting or standing, whatever. Anyways, so that took a little bit longer than anticipated. We were there for quite a while. Jared may have gotten a car or a truck or a Jeep or a Prius or a bus. I don't know. I do know, but I'm not telling you. Well, whatever. Anyways, back to me, back to my car. So I wanted to address why I got the Jeep because although some of you were very supportive when I like, when I did my truck video asking what car I should do, some of you were like, don't do a Jeep. I get it. I get it. But here's my reasoning, which I kind of already had explained in the other video when I was like contemplating a Jeep versus a truck. But I had, for those of you who don't know, I had, wow, of course you know what I had. I showed you in the video. I had a Dodge Ram 1500. Hear me. I had my Dodge and I loved it. I had it for four or five years. I loved it. And that honestly was like my dream car. So I loved that truck. But throughout the years, I realized I literally wasn't using half of my vehicle. Like the bed of my truck, I never used. Like I'm not towing stuff. I'm not like I'd put groceries in the back or something like that. They'd slide all over the place. So I just didn't use the bed of my truck almost ever. And you know, I have, my dad has a truck, Jared has a truck. There's no reason that I need a truck, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, it's nice to have when you need it, but if I need it, I have someone or several someones who have a truck also. So, uh, yeah, and then like I said in my birthday, one of my birthday videos, I can't park my truck for anything, I can't pull it forward. It's just not something I can do. I'm a little embarrassed by it. I had my truck for four or five years and I just, I didn't know the length of the nose of my truck and I had hit a couple things before with the front of it several times. It's not that it was too much truck or car for me, but it was just a lot for someone who didn't need all that stuff, I guess. A little bit sad, a little bit bittersweet, but that's okay. And the Jeep, it's it's really nice. I'm very proud of the Jeep that I got. Like, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a car tour in the next couple of days, kind of showing you the inside because it's got some pretty cool stuff that I didn't even know existed. Like, I feel like I'm driving like a Mercedes or something now because I went from a stock, standard, almost bottom of the line, lower level Dodge to very relatively cool, nice Jeep. It's different for me. So, I really, I'm excited for this Jeep. I love it so far, it's only been a day. But yeah, so hopefully you guys like it too. And um, I'm excited for the next one because I'm gonna show you guys what's it, uh, what's it's got. What am I trying to say? I'm gonna show you my Jeep, okay? All right, well, that's gonna do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. I'm a Jeep Jeep girl now.